Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on uh, creating a tileable texture from a non-tileable image. Um, this is sort of an old school tutorial. I'm not going to use the offset tool and the healing brush that you'll see in other tutorials. This is um, a tutorial that sort of predates that. And um, it's pretty simple. It works for some images, doesn't work for all. Uh, but sometimes if you run into trouble with that healing brush, this technique might be a little bit better for you. It's very easy. Uh, what we're going to do is start off with this image. It's called uh, Wall JPEG. You can get it from my website and uh, make a rectangular marquee selection. And we're just going to grab sort of a good sized chunk of the front, uh, sorry, of the top. Uh, control C, Control V, copy and paste it. Take the Move tool, hold down Shift, and just hold down Shift and drag it straight down until it snaps into place at the bottom. Now we're going to flip it uh, vertically. So Edit, Transform. Flip vertical. There we go. Okay. Um, all we're going to do here is take the eraser, regular eraser, make it a pretty good size eraser. We can uh, we can sort of I don't know 50% uh, hardness and uh, pretty low opacity. Actually, you know what? I might crank up my hardness. I'm just going to make 100% hardness, um, but a really low opacity. And we're going to go through and do lots of clicking. Okay. Now you'll see certain areas that sort of reveal themselves nicely and certain areas that you just have to keep working on. So I found a large rock, I got to keep clicking until it's all revealed. Now I just want to first go along the seam here. Okay, I'm sorry for all this annoying clicking, but uh, that's how I like to do it. First I'm going to go along the seam and yeah, pretty good. But then I also want to come down here and I just want to I want to change some of this stuff. Um, that's good. Maybe another little piece over here. Because really all I'm worried about is the edge, right? I only want the seam to be fixed. Um, the rest of the stuff I don't I don't really wanna don't really want to mess with that too much. And you can see I've got this big rock down here and the same big rock up here. That's gonna look weird when I when I go and uh, and tile it. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay, I want to be careful, so I'm going to get rid of a lot of the stuff that I just copied and pasted, but I want to be careful not to touch the edge. It's the edge that's really important. Um, it's, it's what's going to lock up with everything else. Once I've got that done, let's go back to our background layer. Actually, you know what, let's flatten it. Uh, layer 1, layer, flatten image. Okay, uh, go to the background layer, rectangular marquee selection. This time we're going to take a big... Whoop, Let's actually get it right from the corner. Get a big chunk, same size, um, along the side here. Copy, paste, move tool. With the shift key held down, move it over, snap it, and uh, edit, transform. Flip horizontal. There we go. We're going to do the exact same thing. Same paint or same uh, eraser, and we're just going to do lots of clicking. We're going to go right inside. First, to take care of our seam. All right, and once we've got our seam taken care of, then we're also going to go inside the image and get rid of any little pieces that we think might sort of show up as a little too, a little too obvious. You know, again, I've got this big rock on the on the right, same as the big rock on the left, so maybe I'll get rid of that. I'm going to sort of blend these things together. Might do the same thing down here with this one. Um, it's a bit of a hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit lucky to get the right, uh, the right thing. There we go. Okay, uh, not bad, right? Um, the only way there's only one way to tell. First, flatten it. So go to layer, flatten image. Great. Go to edit, define pattern. Okay, uh, we'll call it wall JPEG. Okay. And um, I've made this brand new image that is quite simply double the size of the original. So I think my original was 800 by 600. This one is 1600 by 1200. Just so I'm going to get four instances. Um, we'll go to edit, uh, uh, fill, and we're going to use a pattern. You know, I probably got a whole bunch here. There's wall JPEG that I just made. And uh, there it is. All right, not so bad. Um, now, you know what? I, I probably could have definitely did a, done some better work down here. I see some flipping going on. Right, and that sort of makes me believe that there was a, a reversed pattern. Um, well, so I can always I can always go back and try it again. Um, this is never a, something that's gonna 
sort of, it's not a one-stop solution. You're never going to automatically get a perfectly random tileable texture uh, from a photograph. But uh, you can go back in, fiddle with that, and uh, try it out. I've got another tutorial coming up on the offset tool, which is another way of doing the same thing. And uh, another one very shortly on making your own tileable texture uh, using just Photoshop from scratch. Check them out.